There comes Miko. Oh my goodness, you are so cute. Come on, pretty. Come on, pretty girls. Whoa, look at Tinkerbell go. Yay! Hello. Oh, I haven't spoken today. My voice is sounding a little interesting. Hello, my name is Kate and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. I've got two little fluffs here in bed with me. We haven't quite gotten out of bed yet, but I think today we are going to go up the mountain about an hour and 15 and see if we don't want to go uh, hiking. It has been insanely hot here in Denver. Like mid 90s it was 104 last week so the dogs are being a little lethargic staying inside because you guys have too much fluff too much fluff too much <laughs> Hi. anyhow let them get up feed these dingbats hey i don't need to make out with you thanks puppy and see if we don't want to go for a hike All right can you say good morning Oh. That was a good good morning. What's up? You excited? Ah! Do you want these on? Yeah, we have to put these on before the car because they don't have windows in. Ah! Whose is this? Ah! That's Miko's, huh? Um, highly doubt I can do this with one hand. Thanks. <laughs> oh, there we go. We have to get the chicken feed. You gotta get Tinkerbell. Can you get all? You're so. <laughs> Don't be on the food. Oh my goodness. Girls, are you supposed to be up there in the front? Are we ready to go? <laughs> okay. Hi, Fuzz Buckets. Where's your leash? This is literally just fluff. What are you caught on? <laughs> Whoa. All right, girls. We're going up Herman's Gulch. This way. Come on, come on. Come on. You gotta get up. Good girls. Good girls. It's crazy. But I'm surrounded by this and no one. But right over that way, you might be able to hear it, I'm not sure if it'll pick up on camera, is the highway. So we're going pretty much straight up. Which is why you can tell. I'm super out of breath. Not kidding. About straight up. Oh boy. You girls warm already? There's a lake at the top. Love that. Hi, little one. Oh Hello. Look at the over there. Oh. Oh they're so cute. Oh my gosh. They're obviously sweet. So. Oh my gosh. So, and he's like, I'm done. <laughs> you gotta go. Have uh -huh. a good hike. Thanks, you too. Look at all of these wildflowers. You girls just keep on going. You want to keep going. So one of the things I love about Colorado, especially hiking in the mountains, is there's literally medicine everywhere you go. As an herbalist, I love walking around and seeing what can heal you. So this is called yarrow. I actually did a whole video on like what medicine, etc., that you could find while hiking. And yarrow in particular is really good for like cuts and scrapes and things like that. So the dogs decided that we were going to keep on walking. However, that yarrow, I love that it just grows in like cracks and literally in the middle of the trail, etc. And I will never pick any of that wildflowers, anything medicinal, because it's not meant to be picked unless you actually need it. I think uh, if you got hurt on the trail and that is something that can help you, picking a bit of it, I think Mother Nature will be cool with that. You take care of her, she takes care of you. Girls are getting a little tired. We're getting close. As you can see, the path is now flattening out a bit because pretty much at the top of the mountain. 
And just beyond there, you can see some snow. Probably won't have any snow this far down. But I'm sure the girls will love the water. And another water break. <laughs> it's hot out today, humboldts. Oh my goodness. Hi, look at you in your little backpack. So cute. Sorry, they're super friendly. Hey, little one. Uh, they're smoyets. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, they're show smoyets, so they're smaller than like what you're normally so yeah. I get American Eskimo a lot. <laughs> Girls, come on. Leave the pup alone. Let's go. Alright, so this hike is longer than I expected it to be. Because we're still going. There's gorgeous little, almost like natural cobblestones going. Which is why, anytime you go on a hike, even if you plan ahead and make sure there's water, and there's still a stream over there, I'm not sure if you can hear it or not, which is one of the reasons I plan specific hikes. I haven't done this one before, so I looked it up online to make sure that there was water available. But when they're longer than you think they're gonna be, make sure that you have plenty of water and snacks and things like that both for you and pups. Snack break for puppies. There you go. And protein bar for meat. That's not for puppies. A little bit of a mountain trail going on now down the side. We're getting towards the top. Little baby pond over here. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, but there should be a lake right around this corner because we're literally at the top of the mountain. Whew. Let's see. This is incredible. We're about, I'll guess, 12,000 feet up. We keep going on the trail and get down there. And then everyone's going swimming. I'm not even just like stick my whole body in because I'm so hot. All right, come here, let me see you. All right, go play. What are you doing? Go on. Hey girls, where are you headed off to? Girls, where do you think you're going? Generally speaking, it's Miko who's the brat, but Tinkerbell's being totally bratty today. Hey, pretty things. Great thing about this, though, is there are literally mountains surrounding us, so they can't go anywhere. However, let's see if we can get them to swim back across. Hey girls, want a treat? Want one of these? Here I go. There comes Miko. Oh my goodness, you are so cute. Come on, pretty. Come on, pretty girls. Whoa, look at Tinkerbell go. Yay. Good girl. Oh, yummy. Come on, Tink. Tink's not quite ready. But and this is my uh, little picnic going on now, covered in dog. Good girl. Yeah. Are you girls a little pooped? Yeah. What do you think? I'm about time to go home. Yeah, I do want to go home. We can go sleep home. We gotta go all the way back down though, pretty girl. You do. So we are up 
at the top now. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. The girls are about ready to get going again. We've just been sitting down, but I just took a look at my Fitbit and it says we're about 3.6 miles in. So we'll be heading back down soon, but look at this. Those are literally the top of the mountains. We're just about, according to the compass, we're 11,970 feet. So just shy of 12,000 feet in the sky. Hi, Mountain Lake. Hey, Lazy Bums, what do you think you're doing? Come on. Meeks, drop her tail. Girls, come on. Girls, come on. Thank you. I seriously have the laziest dogs right now. Yeah. Oh, bugs in my mouth. But now that we're going down, they're behind me. And don't want to, uh... all right, good job. Hey. No bridge for puppies? Come on, girls. Good girl, Tinkerbell. Hey, <laughs> pretty meeks. Oh my goodness, I didn't notice how muddy you guys were until right now. Look at this. Come on, Tink. You can cross the bridge. Good girls. Got a safe Tinkerbell and a Miko. And it's time to go home. So, I've been trying to figure out how to end this video because if you noticed, I kind of stopped filming a little bit with the exception of that one clip in the back of the car. And I've decided we're just gonna go with total honesty. Um, I had a full on panic attack, which was cute. Cough, cough. Um, I've had anxiety for as long as I can remember. Um, and yeah, it was one of those things that you can tell that I was coming down and the dogs were slowing down. And I have the kind of anxiety that it's not just like, ooh, I'm a little anxious. It's more like I will take any little thing and turn it into like doomsday. Like if a friend doesn't text me back, if I'm feeling like crazy anxious that day, it'll be like, oh, she never wants to talk to me again. Well, today, I was Tink slowed down and needed to take a break on the way down, which makes sense. She's a seven-year-old Samoyed hiking in the summer for a seven-mile hike. At the time, I was like, oh my God, I hurt my dog. Um, what happens if I can't get her down this mountain? I'm gonna have to stay overnight. Do I have enough food for the dogs overnight? I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this. I'm gonna have to carry her. Am I strong enough to carry her? It was like one of those things that I literally just had to sit down on a rock, hyperventilate for a second, breathe down, and then full on give myself a pep talk. And I was like, I need to get my dogs off of this mountain. And finally, we were like a mile and a half out of that seven mile hike. It was all downhill and I was just freaking out we get down to the car and finally make it I have to like pick up Tinkerbell of course which makes sense that she's a little older and was very tired put her in the back of the car and I just sat in the car and I just started to cry so I was like there is no way that I want to film this but at the same time I feel like a lot of people look at me and think I'm very put together I'm so not and I don't think anybody really is so yeah, I had a panic attack on a mountain today and I got over it. It sucks and it is absolutely not fun in any way, shape or form, but I have two very healthy dogs who just passed out in the back of the car on the way home and then got home, had a visitor over, like zoomed around the backyard and jumped on squirrels. So my whole panic attack was over Tinkerbell slowing down and needed to take a break. And so you go back and think about it and it's like, well, that doesn't make any sense, but anxiety doesn't make sense at all. So I'm a little extra pink today, as you can see, because uh, that five-ish mile hike turned into a seven plus mile hike because apparently I was thoroughly incorrect on, um, what's it called, how long I thought it was. So Tinkerbell, because she was slowing down so much, 
I did give her one of these, which are dog aspirin. Do not give your dog human aspirin, period. This is dog aspirin. This is like stupid. It's like $15 a bottle, but it's great. And then I totally laughed because I don't have any of the like crap cheese that you try to get and like wrap around your um, pills to get your dogs to eat pills. So I literally <laughs> wrapped the pills in goat cheese. I'm feeling a little bougie at the current moment, but yes. So that is why there is no footage from about halfway down the mountain until now. But yeah, anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'm looking forward to see you guys soon. All right, bye.